I'd like to share with you something amazing that Jesus said. He was in the temple in Jerusalem and he stands up and he says, whoever is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Um, whoever believes in me out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Notice it doesn't say one river, it says rivers of living water. We know that there's a river of life. That's a river of living water. This river of life, would it, it's described in Revelation. It's in, in heaven. Uh, whoever drinks of this river of life, which is in paradise, will never die. It, that's why it's called the river of life. But what Jesus is saying here is that the way to drink of that liver, river, the way to have access to that river perpetually and always, is simply to believe in him. And then that river of life will flow from within us, not just from our mouth, not just from our smile or our appearance, but from the inner, inner depths of our being. That's why Jesus said, you know, don't say the kingdom of God is over there, the kingdom of heaven is, is in that direction and go and look there and here. The kingdom of God is within you when you believe in Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit puts that river of life, eternal life, within your heart, within, within your belly, your innermost being. Notice also it says that rivers of life will flow from within you. Not one river, but rivers, because it, there's, there's going to be enough grace that will flow from you, the love of God, the message of the gospel that will be seen in your actions and in your words, enough for all those people that you come in contact with so you can be an agent of salvation, a refreshing uh, river of, of life as well through the Holy Spirit that flows within you for all those people that come in contact with you. So I hope that there's a river of life, living water that's flowing from your heart today. Why don't you pray about it and ask the Holy Spirit to give you that beautiful experience?